Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. But I'll oblige him. This was. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video will be right. the start of a new series to help Let's players who are just starting got. out on their Red Dead online journey. Today's video will be a short one going over a few things related to creating a new character. The first well, thing you need to know is that you can there, choose then. between a male or female character. And while you can change the appearance of your character at a later date, you cannot change from male to female or vice versa. Unlike GTA, Rockstar does not allow you to have multiple characters on your account. So if you create a female character and later decide you want a male one, you'll either need to create a second account or completely delete your character and start over. Deleting your character means losing everything you have acquired in the game, including money, gold, rank, clothes, horses, etc. So choose carefully. Next, you can choose a name for your character. This name literally means Take nothing as you're not going to see it run. when you're playing. Now onto the good stuff. I recommend starting off by randomizing all features until you get a character that you kind of like the look of. From here, there are a lot of different things that you can customize. I typically change the heritage first and then head on down to lifestyle customization as this can really change how your character looks. In the lifestyle section, you can change things like skin modeling, complexion, moles, blemishes, scars, and tiredness. Yep. Don't forget to use the slider with each option and you can move it either toward faint or strong depending on your preferences. You can also change skin tone, age, body build, eye color, eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth and lips, jaw and chin, ears, cheeks, and teeth. You can choose between preset options like neutral, wide, thin, etc. Or you can go in and you can actually move a slider around to completely get the customized look that you want. Don't be afraid to spend some time here and really get a character you like the look of. But at the same time, don't obsess too much. You're going to be able to change your character's appearance in the future if you don't like it. The first character appearance change is usually free, but you will have to pay for them in the future. So just keep that in mind. After you get your character looking the way you want, you're going to be able to choose his or her whistle. You're going to be hearing this whistle a lot, so make sure it sounds good to your ears. You can change the style, pitch, and clarity. Next, you have two points you can assign to your character to get them started on ranking up health, stamina, and deadeye. I recommend that you don't assign either of these points to stamina, as this is the easiest to rank up. You can either assign them both to health, or what I normally do is assign one to health and one to deadeye. Once you've done this, it's time to confirm your character and get your picture taken. From there, it's going to take you to this welcome screen where you have the option to either play the intro or skip. If you didn't play the story, I highly recommend you play the intro so that you can learn a little bit about the game and the controls. If you played the story, you probably don't need to do the intro, but it is a good introduction to the online story. I opted to skip because this is my fifth character, so I wanted to be able to get right into free roam. In the next video, I'm going to go over where to start when you're dropped into free roam, whether you played or skipped the intro. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like and leave a comment if you have a useful piece of advice for players who are creating their first character. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.